Chanel raised its prices again, and I think they're absolutely targeting the right goal with this. But their actions to reach that goal looks a bit incomplete in my opinion, therefore it may backfire. And here's why. Now, the luxury leather goods space is changing fast, and Chanel knows this better than anyone. So they're refining their target customer to the truly wealthy crowd, who wants and can afford exclusivity at any price point. From their prior target of wanna look rich crowd, Chanel is rightfully playing on their strongest asset, their prestigious logo. And they use the price as the weapon of choice in this strategy. They know that at a certain price point, the crowd who wants to look rich will drop from the game, leaving these bags to worn by truly wealthy individuals. It is possible to swipe a card for a bag that costs four or five thousand dollars, but it's almost impossible to count twelve thousand dollars for a bag that you can't really afford. Wanna look rich segment of the market is targeted by many brands, making that space a bit more competitive. And personally, I don't like this business model, as it's a tricky scheme keeping these people at their existing financial status by making them overspend through illusory advertising. While trying to look rich, the crowd stays put or regress backwards at their financial situation. So I like that Chanel is targeting truly wealthy crowd with this mindset as spending any amount won't impact them anyways. Plus, with each price increase, Chanel takes great attention from media, making all of us talk about the outrageous price increase, making their logos unaffordable price points known to the world for free. And that's exactly what their new target customer segment wants to buy. A bag that everyone knows is formidably expensive. It works great because in luxury goods market, the price and demand relationship works the opposite. The more expensive an item gets, the more demand it creates from the wealthy crowd. So Chanel is not only refining their prestige, but also increased their profits by selling almost the same number of bags, if not more. But the part I'm a little bit suspicious about in this strategy is that they're increasing the price of the bags that has been there for ages. It means nothing changed. They're good bags indeed, but they're not at par with what their top competitor Hermes offers at those price points. The level of artisanship employed in the making, the selection of the leathers, the whole game is played differently by Hermes. And luxury savvy, truly wealthy crowd know all that. They're not stupid. So if Chanel is not offering additional perks with these price increases, the whole strategy may backfire. I don't expect Chanel to offer saddle stitch bags like Hermes as it's insanely difficult to switch to a manufacturing model at this point for Chanel. But they could up the level of exclusivity in the experience of getting and owning these bags. I have read that they have opened some invitation only boutiques to cater the VIP customers. And these are the efforts to make the target market happier by offering a bit more for the increased prices. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to stop the wealthy crowd thinking I would rather get a Birkin or order a completely bespoke piece from an independent artisan when spending that much. I'm curious to see what will happen as a result, but it's fun to watch and learn from the giants of our industry. I'm no expert in luxury by any means, so please let me know what do you think about Chanel's direction in the comments. I'm hoping to make a Chanel flapback dissection soon, so stay tuned and until next time, stay leather tamed.